in Turkey is where uh, Osman Bey, around 800 AD, uh, was born and raised. And in the East, uh, the father started the uh, Ottoman uh, Turkish Empire. So we were guests. I exhibited at the, uh, the state gallery there. But they took us to the mausoleum where he's buried with the other six or seven of his uh, buddies. And uh, like anybody who knows Balkans knows that the, the Turks were there for 500 years. And it was not an easy problem. And uh, that, uh, uh, as an artist, you cannot let that anger or that uh, bitterness uh, come to you. You have to be very diplomatic in these situations. And, uh, I, I, I know that they were proud of uh, uh, the history there and uh, the Ministry of Culture, the Canadian Embassy was involved. Quite often, uh, projects in Toronto, I can show you uh, a later shot of, uh, of me. So, so, you know, with the, uh, the mother and child thing, uh, I, I usually start like a, sort of a, a shape like this, and I come up with uh, maybe in this area like. Uh, Sort of, uh, you think as you go along, right? It's, uh, there's no model for it, but it's all sort of upstairs and uh, it, it evolves as you uh, work it. makes a third phase, so it's like a triadic, uh, which I think is the way we think in the West. Like, uh, uh, well, if you have a Christian tradition, you have the Trinity, if you have, uh, uh, if you look at it from uh, like a philosophical point, the first logical syllogism, if A is B and B is C, then A is C, who comes, that, that comes from Aristotle, who, by the way, is Macedonian, not Greek. Um, as uh, thesis, antithesis, synthesis. Like, this is the way we think. But uh, I'm also trying, uh, ironically, coming from Canada, uh, to portray freedom because I didn't feel it as a kid. You know, like, freedom is really important to me. And if, if I have somebody say to me that freedom, uh, like, when I see your a picture of your painting, uh, I feel freedom then that makes me feel great because that's what I want. Like, uh, oh yeah, it's a pretty picture. That's okay, but it's not the same. So I also uh, try to set it in a kind of a, an abstracted landscape. So I'm usually uh, I'm doing a, like a, a horizon line, but I deliberately stagger it as a visual effect because what happens is the eye tries to naturally balance these two and that sort of brings it out. But that's just a sort of a, a, a trick. I like to put it in a kind of an abstracted uh, landscape. Yeah. So I guess this is my palette. I think I'm going to try with uh, That's another, when I'm working on paper, then I would be using like probably inks and uh, acrylic washes. And then I just sort of rework it. Like, start usually with the ink. And then uh, when that dries, I start adding color. You ever heard of Lionel Bocour? Now, 
The next procedure is uh, where I'm uh, sort of going over these lines. I consider this like the skeleton of it. It's messed up because you'll be paint, painting over it, right? In uh, many of these areas. But uh, accidents sometimes are nice. Uh, 